Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching Lemmings to the Tribes, and today we are going to make the exodus out of Egypt with the final level of the Egyptian tribe. That's Pyramid of Despair, my favorite 1970s game show. Let's hop right into it. We've got a Mortar, that's a new task this time, and a Shimmier, which they only recently added to uh, Neo Limix as of this recording. So how do we get out of the Pyramid of Despair? We are inside, near the top, and there is quite the little... Okay, which side do we want to take to get out? Probably, we probably want to get out going to the right. Because they'll walk up there and then all the way up the ramp to the end. So we don't want to do anything probably with the left side. We don't want to be escaping through there. Most likely we want to find a way to get out through here somehow. This little, this little corridor right here. So what have we got? We've got a mortar. Let's see. All right, how do we, how does the mortar work? Let's see what kind of explosion radius it makes. It's obviously an explosive device. So we have the, uh, we have the glue pourer here, I believe. Yeah, glue pourer makes a return. All right. We may be able to use it to get out through, through there somehow. What else have we got? The shimmier, so the shimmier jumps along the ceiling. I don't know how high it jumps, but... Let's see if we can, uh, okay, let's see what kind of explosion a mortar makes, and if it's big enough to get through here. No, just barely not. Uh, and there's nothing I don't think we have that can dig us out the rest of the way, so that's kind of a bust. Although, well, we could make it so that we go, let's see, let's not try to go through here, but maybe hit this corner right here. Same sort of deal though, right? Maybe? Okay, let's try glue pouring across the way here. No, that doesn't work because glue can't run diagonally down hills. So I think that's going to be a problem. Although it might not. It may not be that much of a problem after all. Unless it just hits too... Whoa. Oh, glue can run diagonally. That's interesting. Oh, but it doesn't like recognize this as a pit. Got it. So let's try pouring sand in here. Does that... Does that choke the lemmings out? No, but it does make a nice little... Okay. Alright, let's... Okay, so now I'm thinking maybe we can... Uh, maybe we can do some hopping here. I think we've got a little bit more of a height we can hop from this time. So that's going to be nice. Okay, so hop. Hop. No, that's exactly where I didn't want you to go. And you hit your head on the ceiling. So we've got a few chances to make this right. Okay, alright, 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 so now you, I want you pouring sand, okay, you've already done gone and left, okay, so I'm gonna need to have this ready, need to be having my finger over that P key, I should know this by now, that's a jumper, we only have one jumper, I wonder what that's for, okay, so go ahead and bop to your destination, okay, sand pourer is right here. There we go. Okay, so start pouring. Start making a big old mound of sand. Hopefully that'll get people out. Alright, we want to be going out of the hole. I want to try to get out of the hole to the left here. There we go. Alright, okay. So now I want to use my mortar maybe... Maybe like right here. Wait, okay, I'll let one get away. It would have to be the guy in front, most assuredly. No, that worked even less well than it did. Okay, so we're going to be pouring a lot of sand, it looks like, maybe, to get out of here. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. Okay, so let's use the sand pourers to... Okay. Alright, no. Okay, so if they hit the thing somehow, that's a problem. Maybe a glue pourer would be better suited to right there. Okay, so I'm going to try... Okay, so we're going to use a mixture of sand and glue, maybe, I think, to get out of here. Let's try it. I'm not going to bother with hopping this time. I think we can just... I think we can just make it go from here. Just kind of pour in the right places at the right angles. Okay, so see, we've got a little pyramid of sand going here. That's not the direction I wanted to go in. Not even a little bit. So this is going to be... This is going to be, okay, we're going to want to get, okay, but it does pile up very quickly, which I very much appreciate. So it only should take a few lemmings to get out of here. Alright, so can we get them? 
Okay, so the problem is we got Lemmings going to the... There we go. Okay, so now... Alright, so now let's use a glue pourer over this way. Once we get this going... There we go. Okay. Oh, so glue doesn't work right there either. I would have to get it, like, in this gap. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Glue does work well right there, actually. But I have to be very precise with who I get going there. Alright, what if we do another one guy goes ahead kind of deal? If I hop in the right place, can I get him across? Yes, I can get one guy across. So what I want to do, this is this is too big a gap to do a mortar through, but this might not be. I want to see if I can get it going. So I want to go back up the stairs with the sand pourer. How many sand pourers is that going to be? That could be one sand pourer, but it could be also be two. Let's see. Alright, so go up... All right, not quite there yet, but all right, go ahead and pour that sand out. Yes. Okay, go up the stairs. I think I might have this now. This one is not so bad. You can go, you got to get around to this little hole though. And then once I get this, okay, if this works out with the mortar, uh, one more step up. Let's try maybe actually one more step up even. No, I didn't do it in quite the right spot. All right, more like right here. Yes, there we go. Okay, so now all he has to do is pour some glue to seal this hole. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So how far does that go? Ooh, hey, all right. Okay, that doesn't quite go all the way, though, so I need to do it twice. All right, and here's glue pourer number two. That should fill out the rest of the gaps. So now I can start filling the joint up with sand down here. There we go. Get going out to the left there. And what will this do? Will this, uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, this might be bad. No, no, it won't, because glue doesn't run uphill. I'm just getting paranoid for no good reason. All right, so all we have to do now is just pile up sand until we're out of here. But I need them going to the left. I, I get more lemmings going to the right, and that's kind of frustrating me here. Yep, they're all just kind of piled in. There we go. Okay, a little bit more. A little bit softer now, a little bit more to the left now. Okay, so they're all going out now. And I've managed to fill them in with sand. I should probably get a little... Did I hear him go woohoo? Yeah, we've got one lemming saved, so that's good. But... Well, maybe we can... Maybe if I'm going this way with it. Oh, gosh. Okay, so we get going to the right now. That would be... That would be excellent. How about... How about a little bit of going to the right? Because then we could fill the hole with glues. This is still salvageable, technically. Okay, but not if you don't... Not if you don't sand in the right spots. Oh my gosh, a bunch of sand in the hole and nowhere to go. Yeah, I need to kind of get myself a little pre-sand going here. Okay, now that I've got this going at max efficiency, it should be a little easier. But they are... Ah, there we go. There's a good one right there. Now, as long as they crowd in... Okay, so now... Okay, now it's starting to get a little crowded, but... I want them to go out to the left, and I'm not getting the... They're all crossing at the points. Okay, that one didn't go so hot. Okay, but that one is... Okay, so that kind of gets them going... Okay, no, that actually ended in disaster. That's not what we want at all. Do we want to kind of, like, help them out a little... Like, maybe I should get the guy going who does the mortar. Maybe I should get him throwing sand first. I do have multiple hoppers. Maybe I could send a second guy to do this work while this one fills the sand up for them. That might that might prove a little more efficient because trying to get everybody out of this hole, I just end up plugging the gap. Okay, let's try a second hopper. While the... Oh, well... The hopper actually needs to go to the place where I want him to go first. Okay. Oh, this is a little too close for comfort. Yeah. Okay, so I need... Alright, so I actually need probably another hopper then. So, now I want a second hopper to come. Alright, there we go. Now, while the other one does... Okay. Now, while the other one does the sand pouring... Okay, where is my sand pour? Okay, yeah, there you go. So we're going to have him pour sand from down here and keep going with that while this guy does the mortar thing. 
Okay, so that works out. Oh, hey, wow, I didn't mean to get him. Okay, so maybe with maybe that's why we have so many hoppers. Maybe this is kind of a hard thing to work out. Yeah, and I kind of ended up doing the same thing here, where it's like, okay, well, we got the bucket going in the direction I want, but now the bucket's going to get blocked when I go this way. Okay. Oh, and I forgot about this whole deal. Man, there is a lot to look out for in this level. Yeah, and then same deal happened here. I kind of ended up... Well, if I hadn't killed the one lemming, it would have worked out just fine, because for some reason I can all walk up onto this one. Let's... Just do it over here. Yeah, for some reason that would have worked. Well, if I had remembered everything, golly, this is a this is a tight level. It's not hard to figure out, but it's just it's tight. All right, I finally figured an efficient way to do this. I think so. We're gonna have the first guy hop. First person is gonna hop, and as soon as he hops to the next bit, he's going to be a glue pourer. There we go. We can have people go in the pit for now. It's fine. We just need the glue pour to do his work. The glue pour is actually going to do something really efficient that I didn't end up anticipating, which actually worked out really well for me. So what we're going to do is that guy is going to pour glue, and then we're going to pour sand in from over here. Pouring sand in from over here is going to help us get out a little bit easier. See, that glue actually is just enough to seal that little bit right there. So we're going to pour sand into the pit for the time being, and we're going to mortar right here. We're going to mortar in our usual spot, of course. So now I want to get the glue pouring going, because I want to get the exit going. So now we're going to go bop, okay. And then I'm going to pause, because this is proven finicky for some reason. So now I've used all my glue pouring. So now I can get sand going out here. So if I pour at the edge of the sand, it should close up the gap, but also allow the lemmings to go up through it. So I should be filling the gap with sand. They come back up through the gap, but then they don't go back through. So now I can just kind of pour sand any old anywhere I want, and that is it. I think we have made it finally all the way out of Egypt. So they should cross through that corridor right there. And there it is. Wow, that was not a hard level, but it takes some execution. And that sand pouring is... Sand pouring is not quite as efficient as glue pouring, which isn't that always the way, like when you pour sand over an icy road to make it not slick anymore, isn't that always worse than when you put salt over it? I'm just kind of rambling because I'm happy to be, I'm happy to be out of Egypt for once. It feels like this whole game was going to be Egypt for a minute, but no, we can finally move on to another tribe at this point and we ended up saving everybody. So... That is 60 lemmings going in, 60 lemmings coming out. So, so far we've got a full population making their way to the Ark. And I'm very happy about that. So I think, what is the next tribe? I guess I don't know what the next tribe is uh, going clockwise, which is the way we're going to go about this. So let's see. Go in there. Yes. Oh my gosh, what a relief. That's amazing. Award me. Yes, give me that award. What does that mean now? I want the award for my gold rescue, so hit me with it. Hey, all right, there's a picture of an Egyptian living. <gasps> what is this? We have a piece of something. Is this like a metal that we're putting together? Do I get a big giant metal at the end once I have all the living tribes saved? Oh, that's amazing. Okay, well, we did it. We got a piece of something, a medallion. All right, so there we go. Egypt is... Oh, oh, there it is. There. Oh, I see. These are not like little arrows or anything. They all are supposed to float toward the central arc right here. Okay, well, next up, after Egyptian going clockwise, it looks like we have the outdoor tribe. Time to hit up the great outdoors. Let's try a level or two from this today. Let's see. If the first level moves pretty quickly, then maybe we can do a second one. Patently obvious. So, we've got some, some fairly new things here. The Icarus Wings. That sounds very complex. The Twister. Uh, not a fan of the Twister, really. Uh, platformer Stacker, Sand Pourer, Glue Pourer. More Sand and Glue. The Filler. The Filler is always important. And a Planter. A Planter might plant a little tree. So, this is patently obvious. So, maybe we're making a tent of some kind. The Sand Pourer makes something tent-shaped. I would... 
like to think maybe that's it. Okay, so let's let's give it a whack. So we've got two tents we can make it to here. So okay, sand pouring might be the order of the day here. Sand pouring is uh. So if we go, let's see. I want to see what the pourer does real quick, or the planter does real quick. What does the planter do? Okay, so the planter makes like a little kind of bridge-ish type thing. All right, so let's go back. Let's go back now. We have platformers as well. I think sand... There seem to be a lot of ways to do this level. So I'm just going to make a little sand hill going up to here and then platform across to the end. That seems pretty pretty self-explanatory. Like they said, patently obvious. We're going to make a little tent out of sand. We're going to go camping today. All right. All we need to do is get up to roughly here. Or, or we could twist our way to the... We could always twist our way to this side. Maybe that would be a, maybe that would be a way to go about a thing. Okay, so I think I might be able to use the twister pretty effectively here. Uh, let's let's give it a try. I'm actually going to I'm actually going to make an attempt with the twister. Okay, and then blow you up. Nope, nope. I kind of did the thing where okay, huh? Okay, well I get plenty of twisters, so maybe I can do this again. All right, I want to blow you up diagonal. No, I'm... What are you doing? I'm trying to blow you up diagonally. Okay, all right, go ahead. Maybe maybe if I get a little better angle here. There we go. Oh, wow, that was zippity doo -dah. I actually used a twister. And he used... Oh! <laughs> I like how they crawl into the tin. That's super cute. Okay, all right, well, that was a pretty easy first level there. And we actually had two choices of where to go. I appreciate that. Oh, we got one stuck actually. Whoops. How did that happen? How about uh, how about we? Uh, I didn't realize that it happened. How about we? Can we fill you out? Can we sand pour you out? Uh oh. Well, this is not how I anticipated this going. You may have to. You may have to make your own. You may have to make your own little twisty tunnel actually. Okay. So, all right. Let's go ahead and uh fan you out okay so this okay so we got one lemming left weirdly enough who got kind of stuck in the little sand pit there but i don't think that's going to happen this time we still have enough sand to to make a hill for for that guy to walk all right that should do it right there perfect okay so okay one straggler but he is allowed to live so and he gets out through the twisty path that the other one made. Excellent, 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 excellent. Crawl into the tent with your tent mates. It's time to go camping. All right, well, that was a quick one. I think we can maybe do one more level if, uh, if the fates allow. And, uh, okay, let's go to it. Let us go ahead and let's see what we've got here. Swing slash roundabout theory. We've got the laser blaster digging up. The only new skill here is the diver, which, let's see, we could probably just kind of practice with what that does. I do like the laser blaster and the parachuter. That was really fun in the Egypt cottage, and we have a stacker as well. Stackers are pretty good for blocking the exit so that nobody can die. So what have we got? Where, where are we coming from? Where are we coming from? Where are we going? So this kind of swing thing here, can I fan the swing? It does not appear that that is... Well, maybe. I think I can fan... I think I'm doing something to it, but... Okay. Uh-huh. All right. All right. The fan gets this going, which... Though, what does that do? Not entirely clear on what that does. All right. Um, interesting. Interesting. What do divers do? So a diver does nothing in terms of whatever that is. A filler fills a hole. I don't think there's anything really to fill here. Yeah, you could fill your way out of here, but okay. All right, maybe we need to get somebody going. Maybe we need to get somebody hanging onto this chain here. What's... All right. Oh, 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 okay. All right, that is... Okay, that is certainly an interactive piece of equipment, so why don't we parachute off of there? Can we do that? Or does a lemming just, uh, whenever that stops, does it drop off? 
Alright. I don't know how to get a lemming off of there. Maybe dive? Okay, I've got the lemming hanging on to... Maybe I need to get multiple... Okay, maybe I need to get him hanging on to all links of the chain. This is... Okay, this is definitely a thing. Okay, let's... Let's get going until we have lemmings clinging to all bits of the chain. Maybe I have to have a certain number going there. Maybe to make it heavy enough to pull down on? I don't... I confess I don't really understand what's going on here. Alright, so the lemmings are hanging on. Then what? Okay, so... Okay, so we got that happening again. Well, we can't get lemmings hanging on to every link of the chain. We can only... Maybe if we go right, it, like, swings them off. What, is it, what does it mean that they're attached to the chain, though? Like, I don't... Okay, so maybe maybe all we got to do is stack it up. Maybe that would get some lemmings out. That would get at least one guy going out. Okay, yeah, there's that. Alright, so that... That wall is there, but what does that accomplish? Like, I want, and I still want to see what a. Oh, hey, somebody can climb. A stacker can climb his own stack. Is that? Is that what I'm given to understand here? A stacker can climb its own stack. Maybe if it like gets. I whoa. Okay. Mm, I really don't understand what's going on here with this chain. I can see that I can get lemmings attached to it, but I don't. I don't really understand what that means for the big picture. So this swings it. This swings it, gets a lemming attached. There we go. Now, maybe... Is this like a... Okay, so the arrows are pointing right here. Is this like a button I can press? Okay, and then it lets the lemming go. Okay. Okay, so I see what happens. So now... Well, now we've got the laser blaster. We should just be able to laser blast everybody out at this point. I think... That digs up pretty high, if I recall correctly. So as long as I'm just not directly beneath the exit, I think that should be fine. But oh lord, what an introduction to a crazy mechanic. Go, go. Yes, there we go. All right. Man, that laser blaster. I love the laser blaster task. I wish that was a Neo Limix. But, you know, if wishes were horses, we could all have a ride or something like that. So here we go. So that level was clearly just introducing us to the chain. Which, I'm wringing my hands a little about it. It looks like it's going to be kind of a messy mechanic. Uh, more so than the fan. I'm actually getting used to the fan at this point. But we should go ahead and fast forward this. So that we can call another level beaten. And the bees? Just saw the bees over there. Are the bees like a trap? Do, are, are, do you, don't, you don't want to get near the bees? Or the dogs? Or the bees with dogs in their mouths? And when they buzz, they bark at you?